Hello, my name is Steven Cortez, Virtualization Technical Marketing Engineer here at NetApp. Today we'll be talking about NetApp's import utility for Snap Center and Virtual Storage Console. Since the release of the Virtual Storage Console Appliance 7.0, Backup and Recovery has been moved to its very own Snap Center plugin. If you have running in your environment SMVI based backups and are want an easy way to migrate registered storage controllers from VSE 6.2 to 7.0 or above, then today's video is just for you. Let's get started. In order to run the appliance import and or the SCV import tool, you first must meet the following two requirements. Java needs to be installed and needs to be in the system's path. You also must run these scripts from the Windows server that hosts the SCV 6.x. First script that we'll showcase is the appliance import tool. This script migrates register storage systems from VSC 6.2 to the latest version of VSC. Listen here the possible options available for use with the tool. In the following demo, I use the following options shown in red. Okay, let's see this tool in action. Note that the command and all options are in red. With the import tool finishing successfully, let's take a look at the virtual storage console. As we see here, it looks like we have a blank slate in the dashboard. Let's refresh to see if the import tool worked correctly. As we see now, we have clusters and SVM registered. Now let's take a closer look by clicking on the storage systems. As we see here, all previous clusters and SVMs have been migrated successfully. As you might have noticed, the console still looks like the older version of the VSC 6.2. In 7.0 and above, we have totally revamped the VSC with a powerful dashboard. Let me show you real quick how to enable it. Let's RDP back into the Windows host server that's running VSC 6.2. And under services, let's look for the virtual storage console for VMware vSphere server service running. And let's turn it off. Next, we're going to go back to the vCenter and click on the virtual storage console. Once that refreshes, you will see our brand new dashboard that I was referring to earlier. Second script that we will showcase is the SCV import tool. This script migrates SMVI based backups, resource groups, and policies to Snap Center 3.0 and above. Listed here are the possible options available for use with the tool. In the following demo, I use the following options shown in red. First, I will demonstrate that we have a fresh install of Snap Center with no resource groups nor policies configured before I run the import tool. Okay, let's see this tool in action. Note that the command and all options are in red. With the import tool finishing successfully, let's take a look at Snap Center to verify that the import tool worked correctly. Let's first click on resource groups. And as we can see here, we have successfully migrated our previously configured backup jobs. If we click on hourly SQL backup as an example, we can further see that our SMVI backups have been migrated as well. Next, we'll click on policies. And we also see here that all of our policies have been successfully migrated. If we click on SMVI underscore hourly policy as an example, we can see here that all the details from our previously established policies have been fully migrated. Now let's go back to VMs and templates view. If we right click on VM underscore misaligned underscore zero one VM as an example, and then go to Snap Center and click on Attach virtual disk. This pulls the latest backup that we have available from the import tool. Click on attach, thus verifying that all backups have been successfully imported. In conclusion, I hope I was able to showcase just how easy it was to migrate SMVI based backups to Snap Center 3.0 and above. Also register storage controls from VSC 6.2 to 7.0 and above. 
This tool will help streamline the upgrade process to the latest versions of Snap Center and Virtual Storage Console. Once upgraded, these tools will empower your VMware administrators to protect and restore whole VMs to even single files inside of those VMs, which will help keep your business running longer and with fewer interruptions. And with that, I would say thank you.